Children love to play, and we love when they're learning. One of the best ways to help children learn through play is by having them use their senses to explore. Playing at sensory tables helps children engage their senses to process the world around them. Plus, it strengthens hand and finger muscles, and even introduces early math concepts. A themed sensory table is an easy way to connect sensory play to what your students are learning in the classroom. And making your own is as easy as adding a filler, mixing in some fun items, and setting out some tools. Let's look at a few awesome ideas. For this ice cream sensory table, you only need a few ingredients. Sensory sand, a pretend ice cream set, fruit counters, and some sand tools. The sand sticks together and won't dry out, so students can squish, scoop, and pack the sand into countless ice cream cones. And children can add little fruit counters as toppings before serving up the scoops. This sensory table is perfect for strengthening little hands. Digging and scooping in sensory sand develops the fine motor skills children need for everyday tasks. Is your class learning about the seasons or the life cycle of a flower? Or maybe you're teaching a unit on butterflies. A spring-themed sensory table is a creative way to support your classroom lessons. Just add in some sensory balls, play flowers, feathers, and butterflies, and some fine motor tools and sand tools. With springy craft materials like collage flowers and feathers, children explore different colors and textures. You can encourage imaginative play by mixing in other small items like these butterfly counters. When you add kid-sized tools like tweezers, tongs, or scissor scoops, students will build fine motor skills as they explore. And fine motor control is just what children need for tasks like buttoning, using zippers, and tying shoes. Sorting objects in a sensory table gives your students hands-on practice with comparing and contrasting and even counting. Add in some pom-poms in different sizes and colors, assorted animal counters, and some sorting cups and tweezers. Pom-poms in different colors and sizes are a great soft filler for sorting. Mix in some assorted counters and math concepts become easy to grasp. Children will stay super engaged as they search the pom-poms for the little animals, sort them by size and color, or use them for counting practice. They can sort the pom-poms too. What's great about sorting in a sensory table is that children build on early math concepts while having a fun, tactile experience. With some simple preparation, you can use these amazing sensory table ideas to give your students a hands-on connection to your classroom lessons and to the world around them. Be sure to like this video, post your comments, and subscribe to the Lakeshore Learning Channel to see more.